In this video, I'll explain how to use the basic features of the TrueNote application and the TruePen on your ExciteWrite tablet. The first thing you may notice is that you can use the TruePen for general navigation on your ExciteWrite. Use it just like you'd use your finger to navigate the tablet. This may be useful if you want increased precision or if you want to see the screen without your finger being in the way. You should notice the ExciteWrite responding as soon as the pen touches the screen. It feels very smooth. The TrueNote app allows you to write with the TruePen on your ExciteWrite. Let's open TrueNote now by touching its icon. When you open TrueNote, you'll see a representation of a desk. If this is the first time you've used TrueNote, it may ask you to open a note folder. Touch it to select it. Now touch the note paper to begin taking notes. If using TrueNote in landscape mode, TrueNote will now rotate to portrait mode. Note editing can only be done in portrait mode. When you're editing a note, your finger and true pen work differently. Swiping by hand changes pages, while a true pen is used to write on the note. In the top right, you'll find buttons that allow you to write in black, red, or green, as well as crop or erase. Let's draw a picture using three different pen colors. First, let's use black. Now red. and finally green. You can use the eraser tool here to erase. In addition, you can use the eraser on the true pen itself to erase as if the true pen was a pencil. Now I'll select parts of the image by touching the selection tool and then selecting a region in the picture. From here you can resize the selection like this and rotate the selection like this. Currently, this note has only one page. To add a page, swipe to the left with your finger, then touch the plus sign with your finger. Now you have two pages. To change pages, swipe with your finger just like you're turning pages in a real pad of paper. Now we'll ensure your side button is enabled on your true pen. Select the arrow at the bottom, then select Note Preview. Now select the arrow on this screen, and then select Desktop. On the desktop, Select the arrow one more time, and then select Settings. Select Stylus Button Settings. Ensure Side Button is set to On. If it isn't, touch Off to change it to On. Touch the X, and then select your Note folder, and then the Note page again. When the True Pen is held close to the screen, you can click the Side Button on your True Pen to switch pen styles quickly. Note that in order for the pen styles to change with the side button, you must be using one of the pen styles to begin with. To change the pen settings, touch the arrow, then select Pencil Case. Touch a pen to select it if it's not currently selected. The currently selected pen will be sticking out. Touch it again to make changes to it. From here you could change the pen type, color, thickness, and transparency. You should now have a basic understanding of TrueNote and the TruePen. For more information, visit support.toshiba.com.